Oh, cool. Yeah, it, it matches instead of instead of it looking like it was just put together piecemeal, which I I can appreciate it. Um, yeah. I like the um, the ground shrubbery a lot better. <laughs> yes, I love it. Oh, it looks so good. Uh huh. And the detail of the moss on the rocks. Uh, might use a little bit. It looks a little bit blocky. Oh, shit. No, they even got the underwater. Cool. Instead of it just looking like a washed out wasteland. And they got cypress trees. Oh, uh, well, no, nope, those aren't cypress trees. That is a cypress tree trunk. But it has broad leaves, which is weird. Um, yeah, yeah, the, the base of it, the base of it looks like a bald cypress, or a black cypress, but those have, they're not quite pine needles, but, you know, very short, you know, they're kind of like flat needles. Um, and these have I don't even know what type of leaves. I mean, they just look like broad leaves. Oh, oh, completely. And the light effects? Yeah. The light effect is just phenomenal. How it's like coming through. Like you even have the little... Uh, I don't know if it's called... I don't know if it's technically the lens flare, but like the little um, hexagons from the sunlight in your camera. But that's Okay, that's what it is? Okay. So it, that's just it's just a neat touch because um, that, that's something that is you don't really appreciate it but then it's like when it's not there in like a documentary it's immediately noticeable like one of the fake documentaries or when they get it wrong um, I think that's only because subconsciously we know we're looking at it in a screen and so we expect it but you know um and then I, I and then I don't know what um uh not random generator but like whatever program they had for filling in the terrain with plants I mean it is so nicely out so it's not like it doesn't look like someone went in by hand and put oh we'll just put a clump of shrubs there a clump of tall grass there a clump it looks like it's very organically put together um and then how it comes right here where these um, uh, the plants up along the water just kind of eases into them um, yeah um, now it does look like it's the same model as the tall grass just the reed ones have the little flares on top the little seed um, but I mean, it's, you know, I mean, it's reusing an asset for a good effect. Ooh, let's go over there. I, I, I was running. I didn't sprint. I mean, I was sprinting, but I didn't get a, like a ambush type run. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let me need this. Oh. <laughs> I was like, where did you... I was like, why did you... <laughs>
Yeah. The um the running is not as clunky. Um like I, I don't Yeah. Um well, I don't know how to describe it. It's like when you're running in the other one, it just feels so thumpy and st and like I don't know how to describe it. And this one is just smooth and again using the word organic. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, go this way. <laughs> cool. Tim. Um, I don't know. Let's check a direction and run. Um, I like the creeping vines, or the um, oh, maybe not vines. Maybe. I don't know if strangler figs start at the bottom or if they grow up top, but um, like the the draping down vine, because the, they they look like strangler figs, um, which is really neat. Hey. Uh, oh, here's a here's a palmetto. What's up? Um, that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not downloading it. Um. So the Palmetto model looks awesome. Uh, I. Uh, they even have the the fibrous bits that go in between the bases of the leaves as they break off, which is really cool. Um, and then the the thorns. They're not technically thorns, but the the. Yeah, that's a good detail. Um. You can see a little bit of weirdness where the branch meets the leaves, but that's, I mean, that's just, you know, computer. Yeah. Um, from the top, the, the graying at the tips is super awesome and nicely well done. I'm only going to detail about this because this is my state tree. Oh, right, so right on. I see them all the time. Uh, well, not probably, you know, different species, but right. the sable palmetto is my state tree. So it's like, that's very well done. Yeah, I like um, how the, the parts that have already broken off, they're already drying and yellowing. Yeah. And then towards the bottom, they're already shaved off, broken off. Yeah. Um, and that's just, you know, that's just how they grow. Um, you got to be careful dealing with them, though, because of those, uh, the serrations on yeah. the side. Um, we used to, when I was in college, we used to cut them and... We used to have palm fronds for everything, like all our parties and stuff. We'd always just go yeah. run around in all the city and chop them up. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, I've been thinking about if I can find some that are big enough, I wonder if the cores of those would be big enough for me to make dice out of. Ooh. Because it's it's a different... Um, it's like a different woody material than the actual... Because the trunk is real, like, spongy and fibrous. Yeah. Um, so it, I have some... Uh, some of the pieces I already have are black palm, and um, which I think is the one they get palm oil from, and then uh, uh, coconut palm, which is the red palm, and they're beautiful pieces of wood. I just have to treat them with um, basically I have to fill them with super glue first yeah. before I can cut them, or else they just if they were to if if it were to shellac them, it would just absorb the shellac and still have a rough exterior. When, um, when I go back to the Philippines, I will mail you hunks of wood if you want. Oh, hell yeah. You know what I mean? Like, one tree that's really popular, <laughs> it's actually the coconut tree. It burns really well. That. Like, uh, people make, you know, <gasps> charcoal, coal out of it to sell. And it, it's a really nice wood. I, uh -huh. I built some of that hut out of coconut wood. The, the big uh, four by fours that I cut. I mean, somebody came and chopped down my coconut tree and literally, you know, lumbered it for me. Yeah. 
Uh, I had one that I brought back from the Caribbean, but uh, after the last big hurricane, I, it was before here. the hurricane, it was you know, a little dry or something. Um, I'm swimming backwards. Swimming on my screen, at least. Yeah, he is too. Um, uh, I secured it the day before the hurricane, and the day once the hurricane was over, I went out and someone had stolen it. Um, they just, his name was Philip, and he was my coconut tree, and somebody stole Philip. Um, because I got it, it was still a husk. Like, it was still the actual coconut, but with the sprout right. coming out of it. That was, he was like two or three feet tall. Probably, well, probably two, two and a half. But, um, Ooh, yeah. Look what's in my mouth right now. Oh, you're carrying it? Yes. Oh, that's so cool. Oh. And now we're downloading Evrema. Cool. <laughs> oh, I, I thought it was I thought it was still alive because of how it's moving around. Yeah. Like, One time I was in so Utah similar. and I was running trying to jump head on into a carno and he caught me in his mouth and killed me. Oh my god. <laughs> so just wait that till you nuts. get this. <laughs> I'm just sitting there running with this, <laughs> this thing in my mouth. We get, I got a lunchbox. Where's your lunchbox? <laughs> is there AI in the map? or? Yeah, this is or, AI. Uh, is we're going to run into Drio AIs as well. Okay. Yeah. To feed the bigger dinos. They did that purposely. Okay. Um, you can take hunks of meat as well and move them. So if I were to drop this... I think I think it's E. I forget the button. There's one button that lets you take a chunk of meat and then you can, no, basically like a steak, and then you can run it somewhere. And I used to stack steaks uh, next to a tree so that I wouldn't be out in the field, out in the open, with something coming around and kill me. You know what I mean? So I'd eat it, I'd take my food over to a little, kind of like a leopard. Just, you know, yeah. to take your kill and move it to a safe spot so you can eat it. Once we once we get to the next thing, I'll um, I'll have to look up what I bound the carry thing to. Uh. Oh, I didn't even realize they have. Hold on, I gotta turn my volume up. Oh, it's everything's at max. Hold on. Oh, I didn't even notice the tree frogs. Or just maybe they're not tree frogs, but they're frogs. Yeah. Because I mean, you can hear little bird chirps, but then there's the the distinct tree frog sound, which is crazy. Um, that's what I was. I was. I think I mentioned that the other day. That that kind of what was missing from the ambient noise on the um, other game. This is this actually kind of with minus um, hello um, minus the palm trees because uh, we only our, our palm meadows grow away from the swamps mostly. Um, this actually kind of looks like uh, the rivers here at home. How the how the reeds are up against the. Um, yeah. Um, We would just have a uh, arrowroot uh, growing in, in and amongst the reeds, which that's a super cool plant. Which it kind of you know it kind of looks like the taro root leaves, but it's smaller um, and uh, looks like arrowheads. Um, hence, hence the name. Do I have to look at it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> the freaking Utah doing it. <laughs> and you said this will help with bleed too, right?
<laughs> Oops, wrong button. Cool. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's the smell. It's not working. Uh, I gotta switch with it. There we go. Alright, no worries. Okay. Yeah, I, um, I'm just getting like this blue jet of dots. Okay. Ah. Instead of seeing the outline of the water, which is weird. And I did, I did see my footprints, how they kind of changed from like kind of the warmer colors as you got close. Or at least. So, hold on. It, it just looked like the stream of footprints that was coming up to me. Was. Yeah. Oh, I was saying the, the colors on them. Oh, well, maybe not. It looks like every other one. Because um, it has, like, the green and the yellow and the red, and I thought that was like, oh, you're getting closer. Um, uh, you're getting closer. Okay. Demons, you can't hear you on stream, I think. Oh, there I am, bro. Thank you. Ah, uh, I can follow your point. Blood trail. No, I didn't yeah. hear you, so... Yeah, I had it muted. Uh, it's good now. Thank oh, you, though. Right. Appreciate it. Good looking out, my friend. <laughs> Alright, I'm hiding. See if you can track me. Oh, I just have your name tag. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> well, <laughs> either, way, either, either way, you'll be able to, to use the, you know, pretend you can't see my name tag and try to just follow the red stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 well, as soon as you had said that, I had lost your footprints, but I found them. Okay. All right, I'm now uh, starting Evrema. But are you um, close to a spawn or not? Or We've been moving, you? I think. We spawned like at north. center. We went, we spawned at center, and, um,. Ask the admin for a grow and ask him if he will TP you to us. Uh, I'm looking at the ground. Uh, but oh, what is the name of the, the server? What's the name? Oh, my bad. Uh, fear the Isle. Fear the Isle. The Isle? Fear the Isle. Uh, fear. fear. Look at this little house plant. Fear the isle. Sometimes people put these in their um, fish tanks, or almost seems like. See this one right here on the street? Uh, it's like a Dracinia or something. 
You're uh, yeah. a Carnal, right? Yeah, we're yeah. Carnals. I'm at the center. I so I just have to. Uh, as a. I just have to say, Admin, give me a grow. Alright, so just. Admin, can you please. Still bleeding. Mm -hmm. I'm still bleeding, so I'm gonna yeah. heal through this bleed or whatnot. Okay. And, uh, TP me to demons, please. There you go. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? He's just doing it. Mm hmm. What a nice guy. <laughs> it's probably because they're trying to get people to kind of interact with it to find out, like, um, you know, we weird glitches. We grow to five. Are you okay with that? All right. I don't know what five is, but probably will be okay. Oh, that's Do nice. I now they just have to wait or something? Kate's gonna do it in just a second. He said, yup. Um, they actually give you the little heart symbol where you can actually see your health instead of it just being Siri. Yeah. Siri, whatever. But why? I, I can't go to my character. Your what? My character. Just character? Uh, you mean insert? Yeah, character. Yeah. Insert. Yeah. Oh, insert. Oh. Couldn't tell. Yeah. I was having some weird key binding stuff. I had to go and adjust mine a couple no times. Worries. My bleed just stopped, so... He isn't doing it, I think. Oh, that's another... Edmund. Uh, I need food and water. Okay, let's get water. There's a little Utah here for food, just kidding. <laughs> yeah, let's eat the admin. I, yeah, he's an admin, he's gotta be admin. Oh, he just keeps pop, popping up to us. Uh, yeah, the little blue dots are this way. Yeah, I'm already taking damage like from being thirsty. Is it so... Yeah, I don't know, but is it so freaking difficult? I'm not sure. Just waiting two minutes. Now. You already grew though, right? No. Oh. Nothing. I'm just the same. Oh. Yeah, the Utah is. Uh, oh, did you? Uh, did you go? Oh, hey! Hey, yeah. so you got TP to us. Very cool. Yeah. Right, and you see the water. Uh, wait. Uh, two call. Mm. Uh. <laughs> There's the littlest noise. <laughs> He's a little baby car now. So water's up this way. I'm gonna run there because I am taking damage. Roger, Roger. Roger, roger, what's up, 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 what's
How's your game running, Con? Uh, good. Uh, I think 80 FPS. So it's oh wow. Because remember before you were lagging a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's about where mine is. I'm just diving into the water. What the fuck? <laughs> just putting your whole face into it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at this! It's off. Oh, she's swimming it's so slow. Hey, look at this! Yeah. Let's go. What are you, bro? I'm just the infinite thing. Doesn't seem good, cheese man. Oh, I, I'm a male. Uh, right on. Uh, where do we want to go? Just uh, exploring. Oh, wait, wait, wait! Everybody dance! Yeah! <laughs> Everybody dance! <laughs> Run <it in. laughs> <laughs> if you run and then you right click and hold it down your like head dips down and I think that's the head butter body slam or something if you want to try it on me I'm willing to take the hit wait um, this here oh uh, see it it, yeah. it rammed me yeah, yeah just uh just hold shift and then just uh right click. But you can do it in once in a while, I think. Cuz I can't I do it the, anymore. My uh both of my attacks were keyed uh, somehow to my left mouse button. Hmm. Alright. Oh, fuck. Oh! Oops, you bipped me! Sorry. <laughs> fuck you! There's <laughs> <laughs> just a tail in my face. It's like, oh. I'll just help you, okay? <laughs> Wait, where can you see her bleed? Uh, press insert. It should. Oh, I don't see my bleed. Um, oh, is it is it not on the character screen? No. I'm just saying no for you. Wait. What does he mean? Wait, wait. What? What if you're sleeping? What is that sleep? What is sleep? I couldn't get it to do it. Wait, I'm gonna sleep. I just smashed that Utah. Wow, oh, with my body. Oh, it's safe logging. Oh, sleeping is safe logging. Oh, yeah. There's that dynamic. My bleed! A big carno did you attack that small carno? Hmm. No. I did. R for Ram. AIs can attack small animals. Or big small animals. Oh, uh, bro, you're making. 
taking freaking what are you doing guys oh he tree he's tree calling it he, i'm gonna tell him to pounce me see he's on my body he's eating me oh, he's on my oh. body uh, <laughs> uh, wow yeah looks cool Hey, my hey, secondary attack is not working for some reason. You said you have to be running and then... Yeah, yeah you gotta be a full right run. Click. Exactly. Full run, look to the ground, and then right click. Ooh, I'm getting pounced again. That's so cool. Mm, it's not doing it. You know, you did it. You did it. Oh, I was doing it? Yeah, you were. Because oh. you were turning so slow. Oh. I just, I was sitting there looking down and looking at it. And I just couldn't, I couldn't see it. Yeah. yeah, and then you can just, uh, you have to activate it if you're looking at the ground. And then you can just look uh, all over where you want. Okay. What is he eating? All right, my bleed is gone. So you're just look at me, look at me, look at me. Look at me. You're just a uh, run, look at the ground, right click. Wait, what? Look, I'm now doing it. You see? Let me run past you to make sure, so you can see, make sure my character is actually doing it. Go for it. Yes, he is. Yeah, now you're doing okay. it. Okay. It just, it doesn't look like the actual model's moving on my screen to do it. Okie dokie. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> So with that, you act like a torpedo. You just go right for them, and it smashes on them. Yeah. You could have like three carnivores at once going after like. Oh. Yeah. Do you now have bleed or not? Um. You can just see it if there's a red. No. Uh, there's nothing wrong with me. No, so it does it, it does do damage, but it isn't doing. My uh, my health isn't affected. I mean, unless they haven't finished. Oh or... wait, uh, you don't have to click it once. You have to double click it. Double click. You see? Oh yeah. yeah. You just double click your right click. Look down and double click. Of the the right you know, right click. No, you aren't doing it. Alright, yeah. just hold shift, just run, look at the bottom, look at the ground and then double right click. But my game just um Jesus Having right. issues? Just crashed. Bam! But you see, under your stamina, if you uh, have done it, then you see a red sort of line. If that is away, then you can do it another time. Mine's not even activating. Alright. Um, Look here. See. You're just gonna run. Just run. Just follow me. What? what? <laughs> On your um, controls in your settings, what boxes do you have clicked? For? Oh, actually, hold on. Let's try this. Chat, crouch, free load, jump, map, nest, night vision, pick up bodies. Players, proper reload, 
Rush, Sprint. On my um, settings, I had a. Let's see. There we go. What? There it is. Uh, on my settings, where you have all the where you do your key bindings, um, mine had uh, Alt, the little box for Alt. So I would have had to be holding down Alt and doing the clicking. Uh, uh, it's it's up yeah. now. I need food a bit and uh, a bit of water. Uh, there's water. Is here just AI or not? Yeah, there's Drios We've and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Wait, I'm gonna uh, drink something. Oh, just I'm just diving more, you know? Sometimes you just have to dive into water to drink. You know, that's cool. <laughs> You're just <laughs> eating like a swan. Uh... Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Demons! Come drink and dive. <laughs> Roger. My game crashed. I'm loading it back on. Oh. Uh, your it character's should be, still I up. think I'm back. Yeah, I'm back. There we are. Wait, let's all just dive and drink. I'm I'm taking damage. I need to get food. Um, so... Ooh, I guess I could try nitrogen. Well, my is not working uh, nice. What? Nice vision isn't working for me. Yep, that's. This is all we get. Oh, okay. Wait, um, what? It isn't working. There's no night see. vision right now. They might add it, but for right now, this Oof. is what night's like. <laughs> so, sorry, oh, this Dilos. Is night. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Dilos. Ah. <laughs> oh, this is night. Seriously. This is night. Yeah. I mean, Good if you game. think about it, it's like on a full moon, this yeah. is kind of what night's like. Yeah. Short of it. Everybody dance, boy! Yeah. Is there a certain um, habitat they have the dryos in? Uh, I know one place where I can find them. You see that big rock? In front of us, oh. on the other side of the rock by the beach, I know for sure they spawn there. So we could try to run there. Um, but you can't run at that rock. We kind of have to go pick either the right side or left side, but we need to get to the opposite side of it. Okay, I'm going and there's to the a right. little pond too. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to follow you. Uh... You can uh, do your uh, head bump attack to go faster. Roger. Said. It's sort of your ambush. That's your car now. Yeah. See it right now. We're in, in the bushes, and it's really dark. Hard to see. Yeah. It's almost pitch dark for me. Almost. Oh no, for me not. Oh, I I can see fine. I just have issues to get through it because yeah. you get freaking trees. I kind of go left and right as I move forward. Oh, there's water here. I'm just gonna drink real quick. Wait, let's die. Oh, I'm gonna drink. But what is that? Because um, you can die if you're not. So you sometimes can, if you run at the water. It gives you like momentum to crossing as opposed to if you just like slide in then you really have to swim the whole way so it helps it helps if you like you know go at the water hard wait a second uh, James. Okay. I'm just walking trying yeah, to get my let's bearings alright I see that rock so we're gonna keep going down uh, AccuStorm is joining us he's another viewer 
Here, okay. I saw it. You can also uh, recurse a growing yeah. teleport. Like most of the people that I play with now, I've met as a viewer on my stream. It's the coolest thing in the world. Yukina, Coney Boy, Mizzix, Akistorm, yeah. Curtin, the guy that was buying those dinos, you guys dinos the other day. All these guys, like, how cool is that? Pretty oh. awesome. <laughs> I have to admit, man, it is pretty rock solid. Oh my god, it's so dark right now. Oh, for me, it's not. I can't get out of the water. Alright, we're kind of on the hill of the mountain, so now I'm just kind of staying along the low part. Look here. I'm... Oh, I was almost... Oh, my stamina is gone. Okay. My whole stamina. Alright, I'm gonna start walking then. Uh, I think we should be able to smell for a little pond, if I remember. smell it yet. I'm just gonna wait till I get to the beach. Oh yeah, I'm smelling. No, oh, I don't smell something. No food. Uh, I don't have stamina. I'm just walking, so take your time. Sorry, I just want to... Oh. All right. Uh, the beach, right? Yeah, should be on this side. We should be on the side of the. the oh, oh my God! That was scared. <laughs> I was freaking scared, man. My God. The good thing is, there's only nine people in the server. Where can she that? Uh, when I joined, the sec I had to join when my game crashed. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm starting to get hungry also. Yeah, I'm getting oh, hungry. Yeah. The edges of my screen are pretty red. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah, stuck you know. somewhere. Uh, okay, here we go. If you die, <laughs> don't we have food? <laughs> of course. Yeah, that's, that's a thing. So that isn't the best, the most of a problem, you know? I think I see yeah. the water, the beach. No, we we'll look at the positive of the situation. For now, I can't, but. Oh, yeah, now I can. But you sure they are spawning here or not? Yeah, if I can find the little pond that's by the between the water and this rock. Um, I was catching so many drills, I was stacking their bodies up. <laughs> Kid you not. Why would you do that? Because you know you can pick them up and move them. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. why would you do that? Yeah, just so that I'd have food in one place. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, so you know, water, do your thing. And you just go over here to the water. Bro, what is that sort of board there? It's like thing? the the force shield the the map's limits. Alright. So at some point they're gonna add uh, marine creatures like they're talking about. I'm not saying they're going to, but they mentioned Megalodon. Oh no no <laughs> Yes. That is uh... And you know that one creature that um, that kind of looks like the Loch Ness monster that they always use as an example, but it's a real, you know, ocean yeah, creature. Yeah. I can't remember his name, but yeah, it's they're gonna they're thinking about adding that too. At least if those they would. were to, Go ahead. If they were to put Megalodon in it, I would be very, actually pretty unhappy because Why? Megalodons didn't live with the dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh. Uh huh. Which, it'd be like if they randomly put a woolly mammoth in the game. Right. Um, because, uh, let me think. I mean, there, there has to be was... some species of shark. It might not be the megalodon, yeah. but something else, right? You or have, maybe like a, like a, you something that looks like a guitar fish or... But they already, but there weren't... 
um, big sharks or something, or just there much were. sea monsters. In the, in the early Cretaceous, there was one. Oh, I died. Oh. Oh. Yep. I'm just dead. Um, See, I think you fine. need a Western spawn to get to us. Oh, you can ask for a TP. Why can't I? Oh, yeah. Okay. North, northwest. All right, come here, demons. Um, yeah, so you have a uh, uh, Cretoxyrena. Um, Wait, demons, big, where are you? Big shard. Demons. You can't see me? Oh, I just went along the beach. I just went along the water. Keep going along the water. Go ahead, Andrew. Uh... Hold on, let me get my thought together. Because there's... Uh, one second. Okay. Uh, come to the the, the... 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 the rocks. I'm trying to find that pond. I'm walking along the water. On the beach. Um, yeah, so you had in... I think it was early... Uh... Early no, late, late, late Cretaceous. You had a shark called a Cretoxyrena, which is which is the common name would be the, the G, uh, Ginsu shark, uh, which was a giant. I mean, it was another you know relative of the great white. I think it was more closely related to Makos than great whites. So. Interesting. Um, but same, you know, same ecological niche. Uh, in the same the salmonid, salmon, you know, salmon shark family. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, that, and then, um... It'd be neat to see something closer to, like, a seven-gill shark, six-gill shark, you know what I mean? Because I'm assuming around. those six-gills are a little older than the five-gill creatures. Derived, I guess, is the word. Less derived? Um, I actually don't know. Demons. Um, Can you call one time? Oh yeah, you're far away. This sprint, sprint, sprint. But yeah, they're they're gonna add something out in the water, which should be interesting. Hey, Aqua Storm is uh, in the server. He wow. says, "Can I get the uh, TP to be honest?" We should be um, finding AI no matter what, but I haven't heard AI at all. We've just seen that. Wait, one. what? I'm sick mm. or something. Did you eat too much? Are you? Do you have yellow food or yellow water? Yeah. You drank too much. You got the debuff. Oof! And now? Wait, I can't move. Oh yeah, I can. And now, what can I do now? I'm not sure exactly how long that penalty lasts or what it does for you, but um, yeah, it's uh, maybe you get hungrier faster. I'm not sure, but it's a debuff of some kind, like a penalty for eating too much or drinking too much. You basically got sick and now your stomach's upset. Yeah. Jeez, you're far away. I just did a northwest spawn. Did you okay. hear that defense or not? Yeah. If you just walk along the water, that's where I am. But are you also coming here or not? Uh, I'm still going this direction because I'm trying to find the... Uh... No, but he died, so I have food here. Oh. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I don't need food. I'm coming problem back. Problem is, I don't. Problem is, I yeah, don't know I'm where we go. Uh, let me see if there's a Vrima map. Uh, maybe there is. I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm not aware of one, but let me see if there is one. Because we have coordinates. Yeah. There wasn't one on that uh, map that you sent me. Yeah, it's got to be a different um, one. 
Uh, okay, let's see. Because I don't see that rock spire either. Uh, coming up on some mountain. I don't really want to teleport because I'm also just kind of looking around and kind of getting a sense of where everything is. Yeah. Um, There is also it's a, it's a lot older. Um, there's the Helicoprion, which is the buzzsaw shark. Um, even though it wasn't a shark, it was technically a ratfish. Um, but it had a basically looked like a table saw blade on its lower jaw that oh. uh, called a tooth a tooth whirl that helped it eat ammonites. You know, squid ammonites. The body is. Yeah. It's all good. Um, that'd be neat to put in there. I don't think that was around with the dinosaurs, though. I think that one How was. How do you know this one? It's just, uh, you know, I mean, I've been reading about it since I was little, and then I'm also, I work as a marine ecologist, so. Um, you know, the stuff I picked up along the way. This is what you can be when you stay in school, kids. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. <laughs> Stay in school. Study hard, kids. <laughs> yeah. You can be a badass dino guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm starving now. Oh, if you're damage. too far away, then you can't see the name tags. Yeah, you disappear from them. Uh, he's gone. Okay. I tried to find a map, and uh, I can't find a map on uh, on but the internet. I, the... There's got to be a map in their Discord. Because I remember seeing the map before. Wait. Oh, it's okay. I'm just don't yeah. don't worry about it. I'm just exploring. Yeah, no worries, bro. This is yeah. This, we can't really play like we do in Legacy, anyways, because there's not many players. Yo, and stuff, but, no, it's up um, Yeah. Aki, yeah, we're trying to find each other and stuff too, and it seems yeah. to be a little hard you just because the yeah, map no, thing is missing. I, I can't find a rim. I mean, uh, the map. What? I have both legacy and a rim. It's a, it's like a file thing you need to do. It's like, it's like eight minutes. Move. Yeah, it's a, it's not a hack. It's basically you name your program folder into something else, and then you download a rim, and now you got both. Yeah, you like create shortcuts. On yeah. The So I can join you guys on the river right now, but I'm gonna play Apex for a bit with my friends. Yeah, parents. take your time, bro. We're just exploring. We might not even be here very long, so. Um, what are you gonna play after? Uh, no, I'm just we're just running around. I'm just showing Andrew the, you know, the game, and we're we're talking about the the nerdy dino stuff. But are you gonna play anything after you're done, like showing him around and stuff? Uh, I might, yeah. I found real coconut trees now, but these might actually be palm trees. Um, I mean, um, my bit, right? I can't right. tell. I mean, if they had, if I'm they were like real coconut trees, them. some should have coke, you know, fruit on them. Yeah. And I don't uh, see that. So, but then again, I don't see the little, you know, the little fruit of the palms, the, you know, the little berries or whatever they're called hanging either. So these are like fruitless trees. I can just annoy you. There. Yeah. It's a walking. Uh, here's a here's a banana tree. <laughs> it would be cool for them to actually have you know some to have the actual banana flower sticking out of them and some to actually have fruit on them. Yeah, that would be kind of uh, well, neat. I will say, what I would call a banana tree. I don't know if it is actually a banana producing tree. Yeah. Um, but the, like the long flat leaves with the central stem. Yeah, they should be solid. They should be solid. Some of them look feathered, so those for sure yeah, can't yeah, be bananas. I mean, unless they're ripped, you know. I've seen them ripped like after a typhoon and stuff, but I never see them feathered like those look. They have the, uh, I mean, it's like between some of the veins, it's open, but more like, it's not ripped. It's more like a monstera plant. Mm. Um, where it just like, as it's grown, some of the leaves have just kind of split apart a little bit. 
because of whatever. Um, but there's a, in the Philippines, there's a plant that looks just like the banana. So the word for banana, at least where I where I live, is called sagin. And this one, even though it's not a banana tree, it looks just like it, except thinner. They call it sagin sagin. So it's like banana banana, but it's not a banana. So I wonder if it's <laughs> they're trying to do that or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I wonder what the name would be for not. So it'd be like banana not banana. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I found a dryo. Oh, cool. Kill and eat. I need to find food myself. Ah! Oh, he's attacking me. Uh, there's no player list, uh, Aki. Um, you just have to two call somebody in order to make them, and they have to be close to you in order for you to be, to make them, uh, into your group. And they have to be the same species. So once you're close to another Carno, for example, just two call them, and they'll two call you back, and then you guys automatically become in a group. But, uh, Gosh. they took uh, away the whole grouping feature out. Guys. Which is kind of cool. Should we get in a... Uh, pretty full server and then just spawn it all at the same place and then group up. This is the biggest server. Oh. Yeah. The biggest, the fullest <laughs> one I could find when we joined had two people in it and this is the one we joined. And they were both admins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh I, I, I uh, got one of 60. Oh, really? Yeah. I took a bite out of the dryer. Like, or flailed and scared me. Or the the other time I was wait, um, demons, yeah. um, uh, stay a bit close. I'm gonna look if there uh, is a bigger server. Okay. Roger. Okay. So stay close here. Um, uh, play, uh, hide, empty. The, the hipsies in here are cool because they'll blind you. They spit there. at you. It is for a sola of 45 people of the 100. Okay. What's it called? Um, is the sola? It's la sola. It is German, but that doesn't Lone matter. Island. Or Titanic. Is also a map. All right, let's see. So here. let's get into Isla Sola. All right, I'll check Can it out. I'm now getting in, and I'll spawn at center. Oh, okie dokie. Aki, we're switching servers, buddy. Um, do we want to be Utah or Carno? It doesn't matter. You choose. I but see it. Team up. Isla That's Sola. Okay. I'm doing Utah. And then center and then spawn. All right. Oh, the, this is where all the Isla Nicta people are. Probably. That makes sense. Yeah. Those crazy people. Oh, you're so cute as a baby. What are you guys, Utahs? Sola? Yeah, I'm. Uh, you said you went to Sola? Isla Sola. Isla Sola. Cool, cool. Uh, right. Did you do Utah or Carno? Utah. I did Utah. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I am two calling here at the center. Where are you, demons? Are you, uh, did you guys spawn at center or not, or not? I did. Yeah, I did. I'm two um, calling in case guys you guys hear it. The, in the, in the big field? I'm in a big field, yeah. Yes. Just one call. We all... It's so squeaky, I don't know, is it? Yeah, same. I'm just jumping. 
All right, I'm just gonna smell. Boy, I, I heard. I'm gonna see if there's any water. I see a little bit of water. I'm gonna head towards the dealer's water feature. Because then ideally that'll get us, you know, closer. Yeah, I, I'm also going to water. And it looks like it's somewhat headed towards that direction of that big rock. That's a good um, landmark. No, oh, the big rock. Oh, here. it's so big. That it is a good landmark, but it isn't good, you know, meat spot. Yeah, no, no, we're not meeting there, but um, I'm using that as a reference. Yeah. You're going towards the swamp? Right? Yeah, it looks up. Oh, yeah. I'm at the swamp already. And the rock would be off to my right. To your right? Yeah, I'm at the bank of the swamp. And if I look to my right, the rock is there. The big rock. So just to give you guys an idea of what it looks like where I am. And I'm two calling, so... Two, no, no, no. Just one call. Well, two call make us be in the same group. Yeah, but you have to stand... Don't have to be next to each other, you just have to be somewhat close. Bro, this is such a freaking <laughs> Well eventually what we'll what you'll do is you'll you'll already have points, you know. At some point we'll have point places memorized. And that'll just be rendezvous place. You know what I mean? We'll, we'll be like, oh, go to the river at center. And you'll already know what that means. Um, but obviously, we still have to memorize this map and stuff. Because I'm sure there's a, a, some kind of landmark near every spawn point. So eventually, you'll just m know where you can meet from each spawn point. Yeah. Just stay one home. Look up Volnona, dear. Volnona? Look up Volnona. I can't see any water here. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is called... Oh. Alright, I found uh, some map. No TPs. Fuck. <laughs> it's still not a complete map. Volnona. Yes. Yeah, and, and no TPs. Volnona. TP. A teleport. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Wait, did you find an, a map? Partial map of Avrima. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm getting to the river demons now. I think I'm now getting to the, to the river where you are. Wait. I found a spot where they actually did aerial routes for the uh, fake cypress trees. Oh, cool. Yeah, I see them too. They're uh, what? What? they're what? hanging out. Almost looks like a short abaca or something. Where? Off these trees. Wait, I'm talking about in the water. Oh, I thought you meant the hanging from the tall cypress trees. Oh no, th th those are what I was calling the strangler figs. Ah. The the aerial roots are if you look at the, where the cypress trees are in the water. There's going to be these little just woody pegs coming up. Sort of um, mangrovey? Uh, not really. Um, it, it's just like. Wait, just, well, are you, are it, you guys next to each other or what? No. 
Oh. I hear something big though. <gasps> I don't know what that is, but I don't like it. <laughs> this is really cool. There's reed grass and duckweed in the reed grass. Wait, are uh, demons? Are you still at the river? I haven't moved. Yep. So you're still at the river. Yep. Oh, it's a, it's a carno. What do you mean? It's now on your right. So, I'm at the river, right? I'm looking straight across the river where I can cross the river. If yeah. I look 90 oh, degrees off to my right, water. there's the rock. I'm at, a, I'm at a waterfall. Oh, I'm at a swamp. Where you were <laughs> I'm at, at a swamp uh, too. Carnos, where you were as Carnos. All right, what is your location? Oh. Hey. What is your location, uh, Demons? Uh, the mine we, is we just found each far. other. If you look at the stream, you can see what I mean. What do you mean? If you watch my stream, you can see how we're at the swamp. And then if I look off to my right, there's the rock spear. Spire, whatever it's called. These things. Wait. Oh, you're at the big rock. Yeah. See, there's a rock. Right there. Um, now we're squishy Utahs. Oh, here's a carno. Just walk by. Mm. Oh, my gosh, boy, I found oh, there's another carno going by. <laughs> We're okay in the regress. They can't see us too much. <laughs> <laughs> they oh got their tiny body for yeah, once. Yeah, yeah, they can see us. <laughs> There's another one. Oh, oh, you're just in the center. Oh, you aren't in the swamp. Or really in the swamp. We're, we're right next to it. Yeah, we're at the edge of the swamp. Oh, yeah. uh, I'm just in the swamp swamp. Just okay. I'm in trees and stuff. I'm in big, big trees. So try to see if you can see that rock from where you are and then compare it to that rock from where I am and that might give you an idea of uh, roughly where I am. Path. I met a path. Oh, I think he was over where we crossed the crossed the river and went up the... Does it look like a road? Yeah. Um, I just wouldn't know where that is from it, here. It is Sort of next to a little waterfall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know where I know where you are. I just have no idea how to get over there. Yeah, there's another car. Um, Damn, they're all there's over the place. Them. You can see it too. <laughs> um, I, I, I want to say it's. My stamina is down. I'm gonna lay down for a second. Right. I'm following Andrew. Oh, you're now going into trees, huh? I, I don't know but, this map at all. What is your I just know. Uh, because, coordinates? Yeah, go to. Like, minus, nine, minus 393. And minus four five eight. Four five eight. I'm minus four hundred and twenty and six hundred. Oh, wow. So you're pretty far away from this. I did okay, I found the river though, where we were playing with the Utah. Yeah. I th I, it's you know, at least the section where it's like the river that goes into the swamp. It might be across them. Across this river, then. We can do that. There is the Carnos to our right, though. Oh, oh no! I. That was great. You went underwater or something? Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, oops. Um, I jumped and it got me much better across the water. Right. Like I ran I and I jumped. Straight to you guys. 
I'm now getting straight to the location or the coordinates that uh, demons. Okay. When you get there, cross the water. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm close to you guys. I think. I hope. Because I'm now also at a. All right. No, I'm not. Because I don't see any water. There's the carnos. Yeah, if you're at, if I you're hear at a I do too. What direction is the Carno from you? Forward. <laughs> that was a bad question, my bad. Um, <laughs> a bit forward to the right. A bit. Uh, when you're facing it, where, where is the far, like, smaller mountains? Are you like if you were looking at the Carno where you've heard it? Are there kind of two mountains with a long flat spot in between them, straight ahead, or to the right, or where? Don't know a situation. <laughs> oh, okay. If you look at my stream, uh, you can right, see the two the, mountains that he's talking about with the flat thing the, in the middle. The rock, the rock is right behind me. Just. Oh, the okay. rock is behind you. Straight the, behind. You, the, the big spire one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the big, uh, the big landmark. Yeah, so he's pointed the okay, same we... way I am. So he's. I think he's. He's got to be across so the So you're just now facing right. So oh. then I have to go to there. I'm gonna go back across just, the water. Just, I yeah. think I think you're right. He's on the other side. Wait, I'm gonna. Because we all again. started at center, so he oh, had yeah, to. Oh yeah, I see the two hills. I see the two hills. What you mean? Okay. And they're you're facing them. Yeah, I'm now facing them. Okay. Uh, if you keep going towards them and kind of stay and just find the I hear another water on your right hand side. No, I don't sniff water, so... You'll come across, there's a big river. Uh, but my coordinates are now 374 and just minus, and minus 585. You're getting close. Not really, I think. I think you are because uh, the numbers are smaller than they were, and they're closer to us now, the numbers. Just two <laughs> Colin, just in case you get the invite. Because at some point he's close enough that he can accept it. <laughs> if you're looking at those mountains, the water should be off to your right side. And then once you find the water, just go down towards the mountains um, along the water. They're close to Carnos. I wonder if he went past us. Yeah, I don't. I seriously don't know where you are, guys. Did Did you just call? No. But oh yeah, yeah, yeah I see water. Oh, is it is it a river? Getting hunted or by Carno. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Just run into the trees and you'll get. You will be good. I hear the car now. Or a car now. Did you hear the car now? I heard one screaming, yeah. Are you close to yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, I know it's water. So, uh, and it be still, something else is running. At, at, at rocks. Uh, no, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm dead. Ooh. Fuck oh. you, Gardo! You're the best! 
Emily, this is where you showed me the duckweed for the first time. Is here's the little land bridge thing. Ah, yes. So that's where we are. Not that that helps. No. But you know, landmarks. <laughs> exactly. That's yeah. We call I, this I land bridge. My coordinates are now uh, three uh, minus three four one, and minus okay. five hundred and five. Is that close? We're minus 380 and minus 460. Closer. That's pretty close. Yep. So try uh, to find those mountains and then go to the right of them. Because that's where the water should be. Or or get that, you know, that spire. Oh. Wait, what uh, was your long coordinates? 560? 460. 460. Is this a random person? Yeah, looks like he added us. Yeah. He, uh, he must have been the thing I heard running around. Mm hmm. 498. I may have accidentally added him. And Is what was your you? let? There was 380. Now 374. Okay, we're at minus 384. All right. And I'm going minus next 460. Time. All right, I'm now going straight to coordinates, so I'll come across water. Thing. Uh, Just to uh, call in case he gets close. <laughs> We're across the lake from him. All right, I'm sniffing. Uh, yeah, I am smelling water. Uh, yeah, here's water. Do I have to cross it? Nope. Just walk Don't. along the river uh, with the big rock spire behind you. Big rock spire. There's something big walking. I would go to the reeds. I don't see the big rock anymore. No. Is it just covered by the trees? Yeah. Um. It's so dark, I can't see much either. At least far away. Oh yeah, I see it. With the 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 landmark behind you. Yep. Huh? All right. Coming. Cool. Oh, I, I hear someone sniffing. Are you guys That's sniffing? No. Uh, I'm gonna leave the group so that we can get, um, I'm sorry, I forgot your name. Kuhn. Kuhn. Yeah. Uh, Cause I don't know who this Ronnie person is. Oh, But are you on the swamp side or are you are you on the field side? The field side. All right, so sort of thing. Oh, he accepted too. Do what? He accepted. We're back in the same group with him again because uh, if we two call, uh, it puts him in with us. Uh, it doesn't show him on mine. Oh, he's gone. All right. Uh, yeah. Where are you? <laughs> All right. My um, my uh, coordinates are now minus uh, three three hundred and thirty four, and minus four hundred and seventy three. We're minus three ninety and minus minus three eighty and minus four sixty. There's a freaking car now. Wait, then I have to go to the other getting side. Getting close, Aki. You mean in not, the front Not if you spawn at center, you shouldn't have to swim across any water. Just find the water and walk along the water. Yeah, but you mean the, the landmark 
in front of you, if not or not. Uh, if you're facing the giant spire rock, the river and the swamp should be on your left. Yeah, so you're on the other side. Yeah, if it's on your right, then we're on the other side. Are you an... Is someone an adult? No, we're still juvenile. We're a little bit bigger, but we're still juvenile. Um, 20, I'm 23% grown. Oh my god, I'm getting hunted, hunted from everything. Serpentine! Uh, 440... 440 sounds like you're going farther than us, away from us. No, that's uh, Aqua. Oh, okay. Alright, I'm now on 30 or 306 minus. So I am getting closer. You're still on minus three zero six. What? No, are you at minus three zero six? No, I'm at uh, three hundred eighty six. Oh, okay. Or sixty eight. Sorry. And minus four hundred and sixty five. Yeah, you're really close because you got the longitude exactly as us, and that latitude just needs. Yeah, you're close. Yeah, I'm now at the swamp, so it should be on your left, so I have to cross the water. Nope, you shouldn't have to cross the water. Uh, well, he was on the other, I think he was uh. on the other side. Oh, is that him? Uh, I'm oh, no, in that's the a, water. That's a, that's a little carno. Uh, I am not a carno. Well, there's a little carno that just ran up to us, is what I mean. Fuck, am I oh, gonna God. try? I'm sure. Nah. Is this a? Is that your friend? Maybe Aqua? it's Aki. Is that you, Aki? Wait, where are you? Hmm. I am now at uh, minus three seventy-eight and minus four. Uh, Aki says he's not a car now. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh good. Wait, he can't get over here. Oh yeah, I'm right behind you, guys. Here, okay. on the beach. Hello! Oh no. Hello! <laughs> Except two call, two call. Two call me. Yeah! Oh, where them? are you then? Who's this one? Oh. Okay, we're good. There yeah. we go. Yeah! You wanna kill the, the car? <laughs> We can try. Well, we have done, it. No. We've done this for nothing because I have to go in about five minutes. <laughs> you punk. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, what happened? He bit me. Why did you bite him? Oh, my God. We can't kill each other. <laughs> Should I kill him? No. 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 Because we got somebody else trying to come to us. <laughs> Woo. Who can kill us then? For all that work. Oh my god. I helped you. Ooh, she can bite you. <laughs> yeah, so you got, uh, you got bleed on you now. I can totally smell it on you, see it on you. You have like a big puff of red smoke. Oh yeah, she, oh jeez, man. Yeah, and anybody <laughs> can see that and trail to him. Uh, so, uh, another right, reason you don't no. want to bite him. Yes. No! 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 <laughs> I'm gonna bite you. See, now you're dropping basically blood, and I can see that you're dropping blood. But you're no longer bleeding. No. Oh, yeah, you are. You're still bleeding. What? No! <laughs> I just heard a no in the stream. <laughs> Do you also have, uh, have Twitch, uh, Harrison? I think you. Uh, I no, I follow like two channels on it, but I don't really do Twitch. Is that oh, where you the don't chat stream. is? 
I mean, you are you streaming? Oh no 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 no! I don't do oh. that. Not yet. I don't know. When you do, you could also stream on Twitch at the same time. You just need restream. Okay. Um, I'm I'm unbleeding. Oh, then I'm gonna bite you. I'm no. gonna bite you. <laughs> Don't bite him. Otherwise, we're gonna get all killed. Should I bite you? <laughs> no, please don't. Wait, I have to drink for a second. Yeet. Um, we gotta go find the dry. Oh. We know there's nothing over here. Okay. Uh, I don't right. know where I, I don't know where I was with the carno. Aki's at minus four twelve and minus four fifty, so he's getting close too. Yeah. He's really close. Yeah. So uh, let, me, let me just go back to the bank real quick because he's going to be here shortly. Did I bite you? Oh, you got kicked from the internet. Never mind. <laughs> Wait, who? Who got kicked? Yeah, he said, Aki said you got kicked from the internet. Alright, I guess I'll go this way. Oof. Because... These rivers are really deep. Have you noticed that? They're pretty deep when you go in there. They're deep. I haven't seen a river that deep in a Vrima yet. When, I mean, in Legacy. When, when I jumped and just sunk, it was super deep. You can see all the way to the bottom. Exactly. So that's really neat for those uh, elite fish and stuff. Yeah. Uh, and for the Sukos and stuff. Yeah. And well, and for the Dinosuchas yes. now. Yes. <laughs> That'd be yeah. creepy. That's gonna be a freaking creature with all, uh, with everyone gonna play. I swear. It. Everyone it probably, is gonna play. It probably what? would not be as it's creepy not, if. I'm if, on the water. What's this? That's what I'm saying. When you jump in, you just sink. Uh, do we, uh, See? Yeah, like, yeah. Um. Yeah, the dinosaurus is sitting there and drinking, and it coming after you would be less creepy if that wasn't actually oh. something that happened here where I live oh. you know right you're sitting there at the bank fishing and then oh there's a 14 foot alligator <laughs> what's that I don't know I, oh, I, I, I sound like a herbivore before. yeah but guys you gotta take off yep all right buddy Okey but our fish is gonna bite <laughs> well, now we're gonna kill you so we can eat you oh yes let us kill you. Uh, let's get out of the water. Let's yeah. come over here. Feed us. Feed us. Eat that wounded. All right, Aki, we, we climbed the water. Uh, we crossed the water. So once you get there, we cross the water. But we're right on the side. I'll see you guys later. Thanks, bro. Right, bye bye. Be well, man. Oh, that's big. That's big. That's big. I bailed too. I don't know which way you went, but uh... oh, it's a stego. Oh, okay. <laughs> I still don't want to mess with it, given how we did earlier with the stego. But... <laughs> yeah, this was not going to kill us for now. <laughs> I guess we can go back. Forward. Um, I've been in Utah and caught, like, had the spikes, like, catch me in, you know, like, impale me like a skewer. And then he's oh, walking God. around with my body, like, draped over his tail <laughs> for, like, a good five minutes. <laughs> it's like you don't yeah. even despawn for a while. <laughs> um, I'm a little bit beat funny. up. I'm still bloody, so I'm going to try to stop this heal. He's like... Looks like he's going around us. Okay. Fun fact, the tail of Stegosaurus with the spikes is called a Sagamizer uh, from a uh, Far Side comic. Oh, wow. Um, there was never like an official name for it, 
and then they came up with the, the name. Uh, oh, what are those? Oh, be still. There's a little carno. Shit, he's and probably following my blood. Yeah, get ready to run. Ready? Go ahead and run. Because he lost my blood trap. My blood stopped bleeding, so that's that's why. Get out of here. Did you go across the river? I'm about to. Okay. Because I jumped and it got me like longer than... Yeah, and I just... Oh, oh, there's one on me! Uh, he can attack you in the river? Yeah. Ah, oh, that's died. a dick move. <laughs> I thought that was you, you for a second. From... I was like, oh, wait a minute, it's no. fighting me. <laughs> what do you expect from the Germans? Ah, crazy game. Good God. And I have a debuff on center spawn. 277 seconds before I can spawn there. That's kind of oh, cool. No. Prevents you from spawning over and over and over. Oh, maybe, and then getting revenge on the Maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say revenge. Yep. Like, oh, you killed my Dryo. I'm going to kill you with a Giga now. Or something like that. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, Little retaliation mitigation. Yeah. I, well, that, that's how it works in the uh, arc, I believe, where you can't. No, no, that's um. Never mind. That's where if you have a bed. In, in the game Arc Survival Evolved, you have uh, beds, and uh, if you die, you can spawn back at your bed. But then it has a it has a cooldown just like that. Um, so a bunch of people just make a bunch of beds in a house and you know stay like fifty. But, yeah. yeah. It, uh, on some servers, I think they limit that. Anyways. Hey, um, I'm, I'm reading um, Alex Wilson's reply in the group, in the group mm -hmm. chat about the, he get, finally got rid of his annoying dickhead crayfish. Yeah. Um, I was going to ask you about that because I can get Mexican crawfish in the Philippines. Am I able to breed those for food? I should be able to. I don't see why not. I um, mean, as long as I can... I mean, they're, I they're, they can basically sex themselves, or can't they? Not all crayfish can. Hmm. There's some that are... Uh, um, what about those blue ones that you always see? Are parthenogenic, I think is the word. Yeah. And that, that may be different. Um, I'm just blanking. Uh, there is one that can, where the, the whole population is females, but I would I would want one that is very stable, male and female, for genetic diversity. Right. Because uh, last thing you want is to have a giant stock of crayfish built up for food, and then something happens and they all, all go down. Sudden, yeah, disease and then or all something. Of a sudden, you figure out all are yeah, all are susceptible to shell disease or something. Where just the shell is all right, free. and that's what I was um, thinking of doing was like let's say keeping you know a breeding pair or something in a an aquarium and then taking the brood or the babies and moving over to my fish ponds. This, are, are they endemic? What do you mean endemic? Well, crayfish are super invasive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have cement ponds. They're not built. They they're not dug into the ground. Um, and where my fish ponds are located, I'm trying to figure that. I've been trying to brainstorm that too, um, because I mean, technically, there could be spillover because I have a spillover and babies, you know. Fry could get out. Baby, baby crawfish could get out of there. Yeah. But where I am, where those fish ponds, it's not next to that river. It's not next to anything. Uh -huh. It's literally inland. So where would they be able to go unless it's just a major flood and there's like, you know, a way for it to get there? That would be an issue. Um, a lot of crayfish can just burrow underground and wait till it rains. 
Right. So, well, I, I, there's a couple of crayfish that are in the rivers of like Tennessee and Alabama that they are 100% aquatic, but a lot of crayfish, like the, you know, the red Louisiana crayfish, and mm -hmm. then chimney crayfish and then some i think two more endemic species here in south carolina they um you'll find them in the water but most of the time they live underground right i know um, keila has those in, in in her place she's talked to them she's sent us pictures of them oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um but uh and that would be my worry is now i mean if they're already is there an, an endemic crayfish that you can get? There is. And those are harder to to um, farm. Okay. Um, and I didn't want to necessarily get into that because I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tougher. Um, and I don't think I can do it in my fish ponds. I have like 500, 500 gallon cement hollow block fish ponds that I built. And there's one that I have that's like... It's also 500 gallons, but it's more shallow. And what I was thinking of doing was digging down, putting cement bottom, and then filling it with with soil, and then kind of doing like a paludrium style, where there's a water yeah. section, and then there's you know above ground section. Um, that would work. I would just have a very very fine mesh cover on top of it. Right. That you, know, you would you would either anchor down by just solid bars they're just there could be no gap or anything that they would be able to push their way out or yeah. if it flooded it, it, i mean that that's just the thing because they you know hell if a bird decided to grab one and it ripped through the mesh the whole thing would be compromised yeah i have a top on uh, them all oh okay yeah they're because um, it's so hot that it's just it's, it's a nightmare so you you have to shade it somewhat yeah so i got nipa nipa top on it like a you know it's like a hut <laughs> okay um it's kind of yeah interesting. i mean as long as it's secure um now alternatively there's malaysian giant prawns right which are the ones those really the super huge... long ones right and huge long tentacles or uh antenna yeah they they, they can get like 10 12 inches long those are the ones that we have uh, in the philippines too those are the ones that i can okay. definitely farm if i wanted to for sure but those require a lot those of space at least from what i've seen like the typical fish farms that i see like even the mud holes that they build for them they're pretty big yeah and because because you know you're supposed to eat them so you you don't want to like harvest it once every six months you want to be able to dip in you know yeah, more regularly true. Because that's the issue that I have with my tilapia. I have two of those fish uh, things have tilapia in them. And there's a lot of tilapia in there, and I can keep them alive. Um, but it's I can't harvest as fast as I would want them to. So I'm literally going to dredge yeah. and build a big, fat tilapia sinkhole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Um, and I'm back at the beach where... Okay. Right where where my carno had died when you were going over to that pond. All right, it just spawned because it finally let me spawn in. Okay. And let um, me see if I can see that rock. That rock is key. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm just next to it on the beach. Okay, I see the the two mountains with the with the flat middle. Uh huh. I don't Are see you? the I don't see the rock, but because I know that's where those two mountains, I know I can just go this way, and it should be right. I should it should take me to you. We'll figure it out. Yeah. So you got away from that thing, huh? Oh yeah, he didn't. I, it looked like he was swimming over because he couldn't get your body. Oh. Uh, it looked like uh, may, he may have seen that there were two of us, but. Um, I mean, I had a running jump across the river, and so I I jumped almost clear across it. So I, I got away pretty well. Okay. Um, uh, but yeah, I got a bunch of tiny little projects that I want to just do mm -hmm. while I'm there. Um, I'm also gonna grow Oscars to eat. Okay. Because they're good food and they're delicious. 
They eat them. They eat them in Brazil all the time. Yeah. Um. I mean, it's basically a tilapia with red and black on it, <laughs> right? I'd say it's a tilapia with attitude, but tilapia yeah, that are too. more asshole. More I think, asshole than yeah, I was gonna Oscar. say I think a tilapia could kill an Oscar. Uh, the. When it comes to like protecting, if you know, Oscar walks up to a tilapia nest, I think it's over for an Oscar. Yeah. I mean, anything from Africa is just vicious. <laughs> yeah. It seems like they they seem to have a little bit more oomph to their, you know. Oh, I mean, they kind of have to. Yeah. Because everything is like that. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. Because. I'd love to do pakus, things like that, but they just grow too slow. Yeah, same that same thing with Nile perch. They're, right. Um, they're just, you know, they're not eating size until you know a couple of years. Yeah, and with Oscars, you can get them to eight inches, you know, within six, seven months. That's fast yeah. enough for me. And especially me got it where it was a you know couple generations in there, then you wouldn't. You know, it would be harvesting as they go. Right, right, right. And, and that's kind of what we're doing with like the tilapia. Like, like on a tree farm. Like in a tree farm where they have all the trees and then they, you know, they can't collect from the same trees every year. So it's these trees and the ones next to them and the one next to them. By the yeah, time they, they stagger the growth. Yep. Yeah, they start at the beginning again. Um, but I, I was trying to think of some way that you could combo... Um, like if if there was a mullet that you could raise with with the, the Oscars. Oscars yeah I think the if ponds are just too small for that yeah the Oscars would probably just destroy anything smaller yeah. and at least with now, the tilapia we separate them by size we have three sizes oh okay and we so we, we have a smaller pond for the fry and then the up to six inches stay in one and then from there they get tossed into a bigger pond oh so you have to fish them out and sort them every little bit yeah and and i mean it's okay because for the most part it's pretty easy to do because they're small and you just yeah. put in a big bucket and you know and you don't have to do every single one so it works out pretty good and then it's obvious to see which ones are the big ones um because it rains so much that that water stays clear so you can really see through yeah. I um, rarely have algae. That's why I, I thought of raising like um, uh, Buna to eat. Yeah. But um, I can't really I feed them what I would feed Oscars and everything else. So I'd have to give them a. Yeah. I mean, Plycos are edible. They're bony though. <laughs> and the, the interesting thing is they're all over the Philippines. They're, they're almost oh, endemic right. there. Good for them, bad for everything else. Yeah. They're probably doing the same thing they're doing in Florida where they're just destroying riverbanks. Yeah, and they are, like, you can see them having that effect. And one of the YouTubers that I follow, oh my God, this guy has a great channel. He's growing everything. He's a Filipino, he's, he's, he owns his own fish store, and he's basically raising his betas, raising his guppies, raising this and this and that, but the guy releases goldfish into the wild. Oh, shit. <laughs> like straight up going, wow, doesn't it look so pretty with these orange colors in there? I'm sitting going, you freaking god damn. <laughs> I've had, to, I've unfollowed a number of people for doing shit like that. Yeah. Like yeah. some guy in Florida that acts like they're all badass, you know, fishermen, and then they like keep everything in a swimming pool and mix Paku and bass and stuff. And then release everything else right before a hurricane. Yeah, and yeah, that's like, bogus. Like, it's just ignorant, not smart. Yeah. Terrible. I agree. Yeah. And the other cool thing that I'm going to do there is I'm going to literally take ambient and water temperatures in real time at all times. Mm -hmm. Because I really think that some of our temperatures with our fish could be lowered. For a lot of our, oh, some yeah. of our tropical fish, like, they don't have to be at, you know, 
78. Like even my betas, when when I'm in, uh, when I was in um, Indonesia, some of those water temperatures get down to 68, 65 overnight. Now that is a much slower transition. Exactly. Oh, uh, and that's what gets people is the rapid temperature change back and forth. Right. Uh, right. Like. Um, and it depends on really the storms that come in because the storms sometimes bring in these cold showers that just you know yep. knock stuff down temperatures and then when it stops raining you see the water temperatures go up gradually and they stay up they stay fairly warm mm -hmm. so it's just interesting because you know i don't know i just i just want people to have an accurate take on what temperatures out in the wild are like and then yeah. maybe they can you know not to be anal about keeping something a specific temperature. And it's nothing that I advise to because I'm not 100% certain to it either. I need to see it for myself. You know well, what I mean? Yeah, it's one of those things like I don't do water changes every week. I don't <laughs> do water. I do water changes every couple of months. Number one, because I don't have that many fish right now. And number two, my tanks are stable like you know i have tons of live plants i have worm cultures in there um, right. i used to have daphnia culture like full just the daphnia was always there spring uh, the um <clears throat> spring tails all of that um i'm sure every, i'm sure my worms are all dead right now but mm -hmm. pretty cool. but um i do water changes every six months honestly and right that's on. i do giant 75% water change and um, clean out my uh, uh, canister filters and that's it yeah I never um, touch my filters but I do the large water changes weekly that's yeah. the one thing I personally do just because it rains like mad in the Philippines it rains like mad I cannot believe how much it rains if I had an easier way to do it, I would probably do it more often. Yeah. Um, but it's just how, because um, I can't have them here at my apartment, and so they're right, so right, right, right. So they're not where I am, and it is a, it's a production to set up my. I finally got a python. Oh, cool. Uh, but even then, it's it's a production to get everything set up. Just how just how everything is, you know. Yeah. And now, I mean, I only have two tanks right now. It's a forty-six and a twenty. And the 46 just has a foot long rhino placo in it. And then the 20 just has a Raphael, a couple of endlers. Oh, wow. And. I want endlers so bad. Uh, and, uh, and a banjo. That's really it. I may be missing one, but I think most of my stuff has died over the last yeah. couple of years. Right now, I just Which, have red eye tetras and betas and shrimp. Mm -hmm. Okay. I love the red eye tetras. I don't know. I'm just a big fan of them. They're neat. They school. <laughs> they just do a good job. They're like rummy nose. Yeah. You need to get endlers. I need I them. Just, I need them because I have. I, it's just so hard to find right now because of the pandemic. I used to really? be able to. Yeah, I used to be able to Craigslist anything and can find it. And people even giving away fish and stuff. Now it's just so hard because the pet stores even don't seem to have the stuff. They're not carrying them. Um, as much because they're not selling them right you know people aren't going to the stores and stuff so so the trick how i got mine uh i don't know if this is universal for other pet stores or you know fish stores my local fish store sells their feeder guppies are endlers ah uh, yeah 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 and so i just go in hey give me 20 and i pick the ones i want and feed the rest. you know, kind of like uh, I I used to feed them to my ten of palmas. Oh, cool. Um, that's the whole that's the whole reason I got them because it's a healthy fish to feed my ten of palmas. Yeah. And, um. Uh. Then it just you know as I was choosing them, I was just choosing the uglier ones or the ones that weren't the size I wanted. And so I think there's only like five left right now, just for whatever reason they haven't been breeding. But um. They have orange and red and green and black on them 
uh, on their tails. And they're not very big, but they're so colorful. Um, wow. Just in a little stripe down their side and into the tail. Um, the rest of the body, the top, the, bo- the the back, the belly, and the head look like a regular guppy. Wow. But it's just this flash of color. Um, but um, that's how I got it. I just, you know, and I pay five cents a guppy, basically. Or five <laughs> cents a guppy. Yeah, I wish that we had an LFS. We just got pet stores and pet smarts, or pet and pet smarts. Oh, right yeah. now. It sucks. There used to be an, an awesome LFS, and the guy knew everything about Sokolafi, Venustas, you know, he knew the cichlids and stuff. And when I came back from the Philippines, it, it, it was down. It was gone. The store was gone. Oh, so he's yeah. been gone for years. Mm. But that was a nice place. I bought a lot of fish from that guy. Yeah. I tried to establish some wild mollies in my tank. I like quarantined them and everything, but they just they didn't take. They'll mm. last, you know, a couple months, and then I, I think I'm getting the salinity wrong. Oh, you're quarantine. trying to you're trying to do brackish out of them? No, I'm trying to bring them to fresh water. Ah. Um, so it's like I I don't know if I was lowering the salinity too fast or whatever, but they'd get the shimmies and they would just all die overnight. Um, but I also think the water at my parents' house is not the best anyways, because, um, the three Emperor Placos I bought, uh, because Petco had them mislabeled as, uh, Dwarf Flash Placos, and so they were like $14 a piece, um, which is insane. Right. Um, they died within a couple days, too. Um. So, oh, water. Um, yeah, but, I'm. I'm even gonna raise my own rabbits for food. <laughs> it works. It's. I've had people block me on Facebook for saying that. <laughs> oh yeah, everything cute. Everything Can't cute. Be- I had a long time fresh fish friend from FA that were friends and she literally made a post that said, if anybody talks about eating rabbits, I will unfriend you. And I was like, well, to be fair, I'm going to be growing them in the Philippines for food. She blocked me. (laughs) Because I mean, like, why do people think rabbits are so common? Like they were released for food. Like... I think they the word dead. mutton even comes from eating rabbit meat or something like that. You know what I mean? I, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure rabbit and mutton are like interchangeable or something. Huh. I could be wrong. I, I mean, I think mutton is. Oh, I don't know. I thought mutton was goat. I I always thought like mutton was just kind of like gamey meat. But I could be wrong. That was just my impression of that word. I'd have to uh, actually look up the definition of mutton. That's outside of my uh, range of knowledge. (laughs) Oh, I'm at that road. I found that road. I think I was... Oh, there's dead dinos here. Food. So I don't... I guess there's not any fall damage or something. Oh, you jumped from very fall? Very high up? Yeah. Where I was in the... I was in the air for a number of seconds, and I didn't even take any damage. Oh, I'm really stuck. Because I'm, I'm trying to get back over to the swamp so I can get some. Yeah. I found that road that we we ran on, and there's three dead bodies in here, so I'm eating them. Okay. And these are dryos, so somebody was killing the dryos here. Oh, found a road. Is that you? Uh, There's a Utah here. Um, I didn't see you. There's a Utah right in front of me. I'm just sitting there sniffing. I don't smell any water. I think I'm on the opposite side of the map of you. I need food too.
Yeah, we were sitting there talking. I was just kind of sitting and chilling out, and I didn't look down, and my water was red, and I was like, ah, shit. I think I'm at the waterfall that Coney was describing earlier. Because mm -hmm. it's the road. <laughs> yeah, the road and the uh, thing. And another Utah just added me as their group, so he's adult. I died. Oh, they got you? No, I, uh, you know Ooh. how I was talking about how there's fall damage? Ah, yes, you took it more. Yeah, there's uh, so that means you're probably in... Uh, in center. I'll spawn in south. Let's okay. see if that gets me near you. If you walk up to a body and hit G, it makes a stick. Oh, stake to, oh, yeah. to carry? Yeah. Let's see. I hear a waterfall. I am next to a waterfall. And that means the road is going to be on the other side of it. And I'm on the road right now. Literally, it should be an adult and a baby Utah. Yeah, it literally makes what I would call a steak. Yeah, gee, yeah. just takes a big hunk of flesh. Okay, okay I'm on uh, facing the waterfall. On it, it would be to my left. So, okay, and it's off to my right. So I'm across the water from you. If this is the right you're waterfall. Next to the water? Yeah, I'm on the water's edge, on that road okay. itself. Oh, I heard something. I heard a Utah. Are you in the reeds? Uh, no, I'm actually on the road itself. Just Is sitting the road down. Really the road starts at the edge of the water. I think I'm at the waterfall above the waterfall of the one you're at. Uh, you have a map? No. Oh, okay. But did you just fall? Uh, my parent is making noises right now. He's eating and stuff. Okay. I heard. I heard him. Okay. Found a stego. Um, yeah. I'm just running towards the noise. Okay.
I'm not sure how to grow. I think it's automatic grow. You just, you know, get bigger and bigger and bigger. There's no visible stages or something. is the road to the waterfall uh, it starts oh um, maybe 30 40 feet hmm I've gone down two waterfalls and I still have not crossed a road okay I, th I see rock so I think there's a third waterfall <laughs> I'm, I'm following down with the river on my right side, going downstream. Telling him the one call, see if you can hear it. Hey, Aki. Is this your first time trying a Vrema, Aki? Did you hear any of that by any chance? Oh, okay. Yeah, there's no more waterfalls. No more waterfalls. So for sure, you're somewhere else. Aki, if you have a link to that uh, map, will you send it to me oh, on, on, in the game? Because I, I couldn't find it myself. I'm at negative 191, negative 524. Okay, I'm minus 686 and minus 3... Oh, sorry, minus 347 and minus 686. A completely different waterfall. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. No worries, man. Just explore around a little bit, and I, I'll do the same. Yeah. I wonder who the Utah was then. Yeah. What was your first set of coordinates? Minus three, five, seven. Okay. And your second pair? Minus six, eight, eight. Okay, I'm coming in the, the right direction towards you. Both of my negative numbers are getting bigger as I run. Aki Storm just uh, sent me um, a link to a map, so I sent it to you also in Discord chat. Or a Discord DM, uh -huh. I think. Uh, right on, Aki. Okay. Oh, okay. So... I see. All right, so I am at. So you are at Arch Falls. I was at Pocket Falls. 
So I need to go back to the river, follow it down to the road, and the road will take me directly to you. I see where you're at, Pocket Falls at North Shore. Yeah. And then there's that road. Okay. So you're just going to take the road up? Yeah, I'm just heading... Because I, I was actually weirdly heading in the right direction, but I'm just heading uh, north to intersect with the road. And then okay. I'm going to take the road to you. And if I take the road... Down this way should take me to you also, meet in the middle type of thing. Uh, don't do that until I intersect with the okay. road because I don't want you to go past got it, me got it, got it, got by it. the time I get to it. Um, Getting dark again. It's not getting so dark. I thought it was getting dark, and now it's lighter. It's weird. Somehow I made my way back to the river. I just need to follow it until I cross the road. So the place that we've been hanging out at has been Bumpy Swamp. Um, just kind of while I'm regaining stamina, looking at the map. Yeah, Bumpy Swamp. And the land bridge is called Stone Crossing. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! I don't know what that was, but something was very big coming behind me. <laughs> I feel bad this Utah. I told him, hey man, if you gotta go somewhere, go ahead. I'm just, we're really not playing. Like, not formally playing, you know, we're just chilling. Yeah. <laughs> they know it's okay, man. Are you streaming right now? Yeah. Okay. I figured. Because it's Avrema. So. Yeah, yeah. Talking about the Avrema stuff. Oh, I'm just regaining Sam. I, I don't whatever that was. I think it just did a mock charge at me, or maybe it was a stego. But I escaped into the bushes. Nice. Um, I didn't look behind me to see what was behind me. Um, uh, okay, now it's gotten dark again. It was weird. It was it was getting dark, then it got light, then it got darker. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that's just things that you just get changed or fixed, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm going to be one of those crazy guys eating their aquarium fish. It's weird. Without really eating aquarium fish, because <laughs> they'd be farmed. Did you say crayon fish? The aquarium fish. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... 
I don't know what a crayon fish is, but I don't, maybe maybe it's like a pencil fish. The new glow fish could be in crayon colors. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if they named them like crayons, named their colors, you know what I mean? That's kind of cool. I love the name of crayons. That's my first experience with like big words, words of crayons. <laughs> Please. Right? Because you're like in kindergarten play with crayons. You're like, what is this big fancy word? Sapphire and magenta. Yeah. <laughs> you're the most badass kid when you had like the 130 color box. Yeah, I never had the big one. But I, I, I mean, I had them, but they were like all used. <laughs> yeah. So they're like never... half and with the things peeled off. Yeah. I never really liked crayons. I was always a colored pencil person. Mm. Um, uh, just because I thought the pr crayons were never precise enough for what I wanted. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the colors on crayons are pretty legit. Yeah. I always loved the, um, I guess it's acrylic paint that you played with in you know, kindergarten, they would just pour it on a big old thing of paper and you just took your fingers and sloshed it around. I love oh, playing I with those paints. I've never, I've, it, been since I was little, I, I never liked having paint or anything on my, on my hands. Ah. Uh, yeah, I didn't mind that. And I just loved how vivid the colors were. I remember the yellows and the oranges and the greens and just it was fun I, I i was really impressed by colors when i was a little kid i really liked all that stuff hey what's up bro uh you, i have a server with my uh one of these dudes i know he streams he's an admin and he'll give us a he'll give us grows and stuff but it's like a survival server though uh, like if you want to go in it to get like a carnal grow or a utah or anything this is legacy no it's a dream uh, for me. Yeah, we're just messing around, to be honest with you. We're not really formally playing. We're just kind of sitting around, walking, talking about stuff. Like and like we did last day or two. Yeah, it costs 50 channel points to get you a girl, though, and I have 25.7k. Uh, are you in the zoo server? The zoo? Uh, yeah, you know that server? Uh, Aki Storm is in there. Uh, he's one of my viewers, but he's played with us a few times, like, you know, been in group and stuff. So if you see somebody oh. named Aki Storm, um, can you hear me right now? Yeah, he can hear you right now. Uh, you know Jitsu, right? Because I'm in the, um, I know his server. Yeah, so, so girls, try to yeah. global him in, in there and see if you can link up. Yep. Yeah, he said yep. He said yep, so he knows what you're talking about. He said he was just in a group with him. Sounds like that was the right thing to go into. Yeah. I don't know. I missed the road. Oh yeah. The road. By the way, my mom is sending me the the merch chat. Demon. Sorry. What was that, bro? Said that you can send me the merch app, but oh, right on. Sounds like a plan. I might actually yeah, have to take off pretty if soon. You, if you're gonna be messing, wait, what happened? Okay. I might actually have to take off pretty soon. I gotta take care of the uh, my my pops. He's got the Alzheimer's, so there's stuff I gotta do every once in a while. No worries. Um, I'm just still trying to navigate my way over to you. Right on, man. Yeah, but let me bounce up. I will okay. bounce and catch up with you. Andrew, thanks for the chat and uh, um, good looking out on this stuff. I'm, if you do remember about, you know, maybe I could pick your dad's brain. That would be really cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll get you his email. Dude, that would be, uh, that would be so it. awesome. It's like the one piece that I'm missing. Like a little somebody would go, you know what? Go for it. Or somebody, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I kind of need that. But from somebody that knows. 
Because I'm willing to take any risks. I have to. But yeah. All right, bro. All right, Dougie. We will thank you so much, and we'll uh, we'll talk to you in a bit. Sounds like a plan. You guys be good, man. All right. Roger, roger. Deuces. All right. Be well. Peace out, Aki. Son. Thank you, thank you. All right, folks. Aki, thank you. Sorry we couldn't connect. Um, if I usually stream in the afternoons like this, I'm trying to do just some, you know, non-typical stuff. No, I, I think I'm not which, which is Which was today. We're talking to Andrew more about biology, more about this game and the plants and all that stuff. So, uh, y'all be good. I got to take off. I will chat you later. Thanks for joining the stream, folks. Here we go. Warning, if your stereo equipment isn't properly set up, you might be missing some of the benefits that stereo can provide.